Hi everyone, welcome to today's flick through video for the February issue of, or actually the March 2022 issue of Airfix Model World, um, issue 136. Uh, it came out on the 3rd of Feb and it's jam packed with some really great projects in there and builds as per usual. So on the front we have this really nice uh, artwork of a sea harrier and um, we also have a picture of a 1350 scale flower class corvette and the 135th scale bf 109g from border model so let's have a look so we have the welcome to the issue and this issue there's quite a few articles about um, items from the Falklands conflict from 1982. We're in this year will be the 40th anniversary. Airfix have released several new, several kits, reissue kits, to commemorate that uh, conflict that happened uh, on a couple of small islands, thousands of miles away in the South Atlantic. But we've got a great picture of a Pucara, which was used by Argentine forces. Um, I believe this one is Ecuadorian and zipping over into the contents some of the bits and pieces that we have uh, Airfix 172 scale Harrier we have a Bronco a B-Wing Starfighter uh, I believe this is Bandai uh, 172 scale kit and a very interesting um, howitzer built onto a body of a T-34. So, news, latest news and updates, etc. So, Airfix have released some 143 scale cars, the Jaguar E-Type, the Bugatti Chiron, and the Pajani Hiaia, or Huaya, Huaya, as well as their 144 scale Concorde. It, I'd like to see a 172nd scale Concorde. Um, I don't know if anybody knows if that's ever been done by anyone. Uh, moving over, we have a great model, uh, continuing the uh, kits in 148 scale from Gas Patch Models, which is the Comet, ME163B Comet. So really nice, looking at the detail in the photographs and a small photo etch as well. We then go into show guide. I will um, pop some photos uh, into this video so that you can pause and have a look and see what shows are going on near you. And we're going up to May at the moment, mid-May. And then club scene, some local clubs to you. Subscriber information. And then our first build article is the Messerschmitt uh, from Border Model. It's a 135 scale kit. It's really nice, it includes some uh, photo etch, but also you get a random mystery package. Uh, and on this occasion, it was a pilot and some more detailed um, propeller blades. So as per usual, we're going through the build and painting and weathering. So this kit, Mr. Smith's BF109G-6 by Border Models, 135 scale, retailing at 69.95 and available from Albion Hobbies. As I say, great article. 
really worth reading. So, uh, out and about, Bugle Call 2021. Some of the great uh, kits and small mini dioramas that are on display there. Um, I particularly like this US Marine Corps Phantom and the Vickers Valiant uh, bomber here. We then have a 156 scale, so it's kind of wargaming scale, uh, and it is by Rubicon Models, um, and the value is £20, um, available from Rubicon Models, uh, of a Aussie Centurion. Um, and the kit includes enough parts to be able to put a dozer blade on it. And with this build, they show you um, the small diorama base that they made to display this on. So diorama build here. And great, great picture of the finished kit. So Maritime Mauler, the Bristol Bowfighter. This is by Hobby 2000. It's 172 scale and costs 26.99. And you can get it from Hanantz. So again, this is a, um, a basic build and just going through some of the bits and pieces that you can do um, when you build this kit. And then we get into the Bandai 172 scale B-Wing, um, which was uh, first seen in Return of the Jedi, I believe. Um, this is a 172 scale uh, kit and it's available from revel.de uh, en. And it's 66.99 euros. Um, the cockpit detail is great, and you even get a, a Suluston uh, pilot in there as well. And whilst I like the finished kit, I, I do think this is relatively clean actually for a Star Wars in universe model. Um, I'm thinking maybe a little bit more weathering and chipping would make it a bit more fitting for the beat up universe that uh, Star Wars, uh, the look of Star Wars is known for. And then we get onto this really interesting uh, build. It's by uh, Ryfield Models. It's a 135 scale, a T34 D30 122 millimeter Syrian self propelled howitzer. So it's basically the SPG, the self propelled gun, um, put onto the chassis of a T34. The turret ring has obviously been changed. Um, to allow for stowage of ammunition, etc. And yeah, really interesting build. And certainly not a subject which is often covered. So this is a, an intermediate build article. You can see turret interiors the what look like ammo boxes there. Um, one thing I did find really good about this kit is that the road wheels seem to have separate uh, rubber elements that go onto it to obviously make it a lot easier when painting. And 
There you go. As the article says, there was a lack of detail on the interior. So the way they got round this with the open um, turret ring space is they just sprayed the entire interior black, which then just makes for a black hole in the model. But it means that you're not missing anything when you look inside. It's helping to cover up the fact that it is lacking detail. Airfix's 172 scale Sea Harrier FRS1. And this one, it looks like they bought an aftermarket instrument panel for it. And again, this just goes through the build and any weathering that they do, etc. I like the fact that this one with its wheels down has been moulded with the cockpit canopy slid back so that you can see the interior detail. Also shows the two kit schemes. So you have uh, X-Ray Zulu 459 slash 25, 800 Neville, Neville Air Squadron, HMS Hermes, Operation Corporate, South Atlantic, May, June 1982, and X-Ray Zulu 458 uh, 007, 801 Naval Air Squadron, HMS Invincible, Operation Corporate, South Atlantic, May, June 1982. So those are your two colour schemes for this particular build. And here we have the 1350 scale flower. So for anybody that has a 1350 scale fleet um, of ships, this is a kit made by Black Cat Models. It's 1350 scale, it's 82, 83 euros 29, and it's available from Starling Models. A flower class Corvette, HMS Begonia. Some of these look like 3D printed parts so um, obviously experience of dealing with 3D printed parts and clay and clipping them from the support trees is, I would say, an absolute must. And we get some details on how the flower was put onto its display base. We then come to this 172 scale OV-10A Bronco. This is made by Revel. Uh, it's 1999 and available from Revel, uh, Germany. And again, it's uh, they've got this down as an intermediate build. The cockpit canopy, because the because there's a lot of glass here, the cockpit really does benefit from being painted well. Um, it's got some great detail within the kit. And this seems to be painted in a light grey colour scheme, two-tone colour scheme. And the 148 scale uh, Pukara. This is by Kinetic um, and its price is $39.99 US dollars and it's available from luckymodels.com. Uh, again, this was the Argentine ground attack aircraft during the Falklands campaign and many were taken out, I believe, if I remember rightly, in the 
SAS raid on Pebble Island during that conflict. Coming into on the shelf, the first thing we look at are the books, and we've got some great reference books here for the M1 Abrams, um, the F-18 Hornets, uh, modelling German World War One aircraft, Hawker Hunter, uh, the handy page direct jet stream is one of the aircraft vintage classic kit releases from Airfix this year. And the long nose uh, Bronco OV10D uh, by ICM scale 148, uh, 28 pounds 40 from Hanantz. That's quite a nice looking kit with the uh, two tone uh, camouflage scheme there. Revel are releasing a Marder 3. Um, and this is another kit from the defunct firm Toxco. We also have an Italian 9053 gun with crew in 172 scale, 999 from hobbyco.net, uh, released by uh, Italieri. So um, if anybody is gaming uh, with like rapid fire rules um, in 170 second scale and has an Italian force, this would be a great addition. Coming into uh, some of the model kits for figures. And the one that really took my attention was this Royal Engineers one, mainly because my father was a Royal Engineer from 61 to 70. Um, so I always have quite an interest, but these are um, World War II uh, Royal Engineers uh, line, mine clearing. Uh, there's a set of four figures, um, but I think that this kit could really um, portray not just mine clearing during uh, offensive operations, but after World War II when mine clearing was a thing and had to be done you know, you could do a small diorama with these guys with maybe some civilians watching on from uh, the roadside or something. Another um, Black Cat Models 1350 scale uh, flower. This time, um, Her Majesty's Australian ship Castlemaine. Or His Majesty's, I should say, because it was a king during World War II, not the queen that we have now. And then we have a 135 scale uh, Italian torpedo boat from it Italeri. And for the petrol heads, 124 scale Porsche 911 Carrera from Revel and the quick build Ford Mustang GT1968 in a really great red color scheme there. I think this the red color scheme suits this more than it suits the Porsche. Coming on to some decals, uh, we have some Italian smoke ring uh, decals for 148 scale kits and some markings for the US 70th Tank Battalion at Utah Beach, 135 scale. So if you're modeling um, D-Day, uh, and Utah doesn't always get a lot of uh, Utah Beach doesn't always get a lot of attention simply because obviously a lot of it is focused on Omaha and the almost disaster that happened there. So that's nice to see. Then coming into um, some of the aftermarket resin kits and photo etch parts and this I like to see. Um, Green Strawberry again who did the upgrade kits for the Revel Voyager kit that I um, 
mentioned in last month's um, flick through, they are doing a um, detail kit for Mobius Models 132 scale Colonial Viper Mark 1 and that includes a cockpit tub and engine exhausts etc, a clear canopy and some other detail parts. And then we have some more photo etch parts. Um, rigid lifesavers. So for 1400 scale ships uh, from Black Cat models, Carly floats were a common sight on Allied warships during both World Wars. And this pack of seven intricate 3D printed versions is ideal for any 1400 scale ship. Uh, €4.96. And then we come into some advertising before we get to the last pages. And some great readers models here. I particularly love this 2CV. That's uh, been finished up really nicely. And next month we will see the uh, FX Model World released on March 3. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, flick through. That's what we've got in this month's Airfix Model World. And hopefully you'll join me next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.